I'm going to show you five ways you can uncover whether your audience is a profitable one or not. Watch over my shoulder as we discover profitable and unprofitable audiences. And let's start off with Amazon. Hi, and welcome to the first of a couple of tests we will do on the keywords that we have culled out from the keyword planner. So if you remember, we were looking at dog lovers and we had found out that uh, the top three or five, three to five keywords were, you know, dog barking, puppy training, dog crates, etc. Now, the next thing that you have to do is head over to Amazon.com. Here, go to the search bar and scroll down till you come to the Kindle store. In the Kindle store, take the first keyword and let's take um, let's take dog barking when you put in dog barking and click it you'll come up with a list of a couple of books on dog barking and uh, what we're trying to see here is are these books selling in the kindle e-store or not and the way to do that is to see what is their rank in the store a rank above 150,000 is a good rank and it shows that the topic is worth evaluating further. So let's see what rank this book has, which is the top book in the on the subject of dog barking. So you come down to product details and you look at the rank here. It's uh, below 250,000, which means that not too many people are buying this book. Let's look at the second book. And uh, this one has a rank of 450,000. Right. And let's verify that. Uh, verify the fact that this is not a hot topic uh, for the audience um, on Amazon with the third book and this book has a rank of 2 million. So if you look at all three of them, all of them are way, way below the 150,000 benchmark that uh, we have set and therefore we can say with a high degree of certainty that dog barking is not a good topic uh, to create an information product online because in the first place on Amazon, not too many people are buying books on dog barking. So I'm going to switch tracks here and let's talk about puppy training. We'll do the same thing. We will open up the top three books that come up on puppy training and we will look at their ranking in the Kindle store. So let's go down. From, this is the page for the first book. You come to the product details section. Look at the Amazon bestsellers rank. It's 21,000 in the Kindle store. Pretty good. Way above the 150,000 benchmark. The second book has a rank of 32,000. Once again, above the benchmark. And the third book has a rank of 44,000. So all three are way above the benchmark of 150,000. Um, as far as the Amazon test is concerned, you have a winning topic. And puppy training is something you may want to focus further on. Uh, if you're catering to an audience of dog lovers, because clearly on Amazon, people are buying books on uh, puppy training. 